earlier you and I were talking about what we were going to title these podcasts. Yes. And um, do you remember the guidelines on fan fiction? Yeah, that you couldn't like... It couldn't be all capital. It couldn't have swear words. Like, there were a lot of rules. Um, but I find that's one of my biggest issues now. Like, I will have an entire thing typed out. I will put it in the box, like, have all the tags and everything, about to upload it, and then realize I have to give it a title. You know? Yes. Um, no, I'm, I'm messaging a friend. No, you're fine. But, it, but I think it's harder to name your work than it is to, like, I don't know, name your firstborn. I mean... It's yeah. Like, you have to think about, like, okay, what what would I call this? What's a good, like... I've gotten to the point where I start taking, like, oh, inspirations just... from songs, like, um... Like, I think... I have an insomnia fic that I had a uh, Pompeii stuck in my head, and I was like, okay, but if you close your eyes, works. Um, the main were... end goal is for him to be sleeping, so close your fucking eyes or something. Something like that. I like... don't remember the one, because you were terrible with titles, and there was one that... God, like... yeah. Remember Young Love? What? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Coolness isn't everything. Throw me still... down the goddamn well. It's still on fan fiction. I remember the one day... Don't when... encourage people to read this. We went to the store... It was garbage! We went to the store with your husband, and I, I got know. it queued up for him, because he wanted to stay in the car. I'm like, hey... Like, but wait, read this shit. He read like seven of them. That's what makes it worse. It was great. The only thing that would have made it better is if he left a little review on them, like saying about how. Oh great they my were. god. They were bad. Hey, wait. Do you ever have that happen where like running away and coming back? Don't talk to me. You know where <laughs> you'll get a review like six years after you posted it, and you kind of sit there and you're like, what the hell? I got that for reporters and romance, and I almost shot myself. But um, or or like, I think I have a Detective Conan fan fiction. That somebody was like, "Oh my god, this is so funny! I love how you write these two. Can't wait to see more." And it's like, dude, I haven't updated since like 2014. Don't well, talk to me. Reporters and romance has been over since like it was a one shot. I wrote it once, obviously. Um, I want to say like I I kind of touched it up a little, like somewhere like 2014 maybe, but that was it. Well, I used to wonder, like, 14, 13? I used to wonder, you know when you'd see those fan fictions and, like, the author hadn't updated in, like, 14 years and you'd be like, I hate when they haven't updated in 14 years and then they suddenly update because you feel like, you know, you're reading a ghost fic. But like, that's just it. Like, shouldn't... I used to wonder about, like, where were these people, what were their lives like now that they don't update, like, what do they get up to anymore? And, um... Yeah, I, when I got a review from fanfiction that was like my my knee jerk thought was um, you are that author. <laughs> I am that person now. I guess I could have made it, but it's like I am that person now. That's like getting an email going, "What the hell is this?" Um, oh, right quick. How did you get that far into the archive that you were able to find this? Um, yeah, and going back to it, I, I love all of your shitty titles, but it, and you did have, you had one good one, I will admit. Which one was that? You had one good one, and it was one you helped me come up with. Okay. That became important, and it was one of those, like, it, it was just the title, but it became important to the story. Like, it, it became, like, an entire character trait, and that was Little Tin Soldier. And it, it, it became important. Oh, it good was, for me, because I forgot that I helped you with that. You yelled at me. You're like, just go with fucking little tin soldier, Lauren, I guess. Like, Good for me. You, Damn. You know, okay. And I'm like, oh, right. That, that is. And it ended up becoming important. Like, you, I remember you were, like, finagling with your sewing machine. And you're just, you know, you come up with your best shit <laughs> when you're, you know, when you're fucking ruining something. Because now the sewing machine doesn't work. But No, it does. I just need to put a new needle in it. So now After it doesn't work. Breaking hurt. in on my would be wedding dress. No, like, and <laughs> just do this. And it's, I remember, like, asking you for help on, like, one year. I don't know, Lauren. I don't know. This is, you're not very helpful. You're never very helpful. Um, I remember the, the, like, going back to the difference between life and death. It's like, you know, that's 
I don't know. It sounds interesting. I don't think anyone actually reads titles. I don't actually read titles uh, yeah, no. on AO3. I just go through and look at the tags, and then I'm like, all right, let's see what this one's about. You know, you just go to the one that's like rated M. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, like, unless I really liked woman. it, like, okay, like Skylark 22 through a... No, I can't even say that because I through can't get it. Through a mirror darkly. Or through a glass darkly. Through a glass darkly. Through a glass darkly. But we keep screwing up. that up. But I mean, you it know. It made you can angry. You, and we're can not, you argue even then? We don't really know the title. Yes. No. Okay. Abandoned fix. <clears throat> that is the one fix that like, I've been able to get over a lot of fix. But not that one. Never that one. It took me three days to read the whole thing. Like, I remember you... I mean, I remember when I read Tuesdays with Maury and it's like, I wouldn't look up until like my eyes were fucking bleeding. Yes. Like you, that was you with this damn fic that, oh, oh I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't speak to anyone. Like I remember exactly where I was when I read it. I was downstairs at mom's house on a computer chair and I like, I would not move from, I could even like tell you what position I was in because I would not move. I would just... Were you read. was that what you were reading? Remember when you you got food poisoning from that from that milkshake you had a at that concert? Yes. And I was headed off and I'm going to work and you're like, as I am reading. That's I was reading it because I you know was so sick and really had nowhere else to go. But it was like it, I wonder about that too. Like why was this fic abandoned? And every day I worry about. I worry about a couple of things. You worry about, like, what happened to the author. I, yes. It's like, is the author okay? Did something happen? Did, because they were talking about posting a second chapter. And then I also find myself doing that where, like, I think there's a, a it was a Christmas break with Naris DM, I think, where it took me, like, almost two years to finally post the last chapter. And I felt bad because I'm like, oh God, I am that author now. I'm the person that, you know, drops off the face of the planet and people worry you, about, I think. You know, let me tell you, there was one time I had my notification shut off on Archive and I had a fan fiction on. And when I wrote it, I'm like, it's really not all that pop. It, this happened twice. Okay. I'm like, they're, they're really not all that popular. I'm like, I'm just sitting around waiting for nothing. I'm getting my hopes up too high. Let me, you know, let me go file some taxes let me go do like some big adult decision making and then i'll come back to it properly and what uh oh i my phone rang and it was someone i've been waiting to hear from so uh, we're well, gonna narrows it down to like one person park anyway. once we get our coffee and i'm gonna answer that okay. and um oh, right quick one back to it cut it off here or go ahead finish your thought and then well, when we get up to, like, the speaker, because we normally have, like, some money quips between sure. that when we're under pressure. But anyway, <laughs> we were sitting there, we're under and I, it, so I go about, I go about my life, and this is, like, six months later, uh, one show is over, the other's on a hiatus, and <clears throat> I'm sitting there, and I decide to, like, actually go back and, like, look at some of these, and I'm like, it's a good thing no one read these horrible fan fictions except for the... 5,000 people that read the one oh and the 3,000 people that read the other one and there were like 16 comments a piece on both of them that I had completely like missed and they were all really long like it was never like the yes like you know when people are just kind of like binge reading the whole thing so what's um, it like being a goddess Lauren like no let me tell you there was one the one time I had a fan fiction, same thing, I never finished it, ever, and it, I, like, I had an ending planned out for it, I even, like, drew the ending, but I had it all planned out, I just never got around to it, and I was eventually, like, and I got jealous of, like, other people in this fandom that I'm like, well, they write better fan fictions than me, so, never finished it, and then I went back, like, after the show, like, years, many years, I want to say this was, like, I think it was over 2012, it's like, it's now, it was 2019 when I did this. And I go about, like, going back through the fandom. And I remember, like, in reviews where people were like, oh my gosh, you never see stuff like this. Oh my god, this is so unique. What a great idea. Oh my gosh. You never, it was very popular. 
And I went back, and I was, like, going back through the fandom, and I'm like, oh, yeah, all 100 fan fictions. Like, there was such competition. And I went through <laughs> the one such... character's tag, and, like, mine was, like, the first fic up there. I'm like, wow, you guys weren't kidding. Like, no one ever thought of this. I had a unique idea. I was a god to you people. I brought something new, and, like, I will always be pissed off about that.